Yeah, well, you've got to be able to break the game open a little bit. You've got to be able to stay in the fight. Um, and then when you get the opportunities to break the game open, be able to break the game open. I thought we stayed in the fight pretty well. And, you know, 50 minutes into the game, we were, we were, we were in, in with a chance, but we couldn't take our opportunities today. Uh, we failed to take our opportunities. We had opportunities in the first half to score and the second half to score. They took their opportunities, and that was the difference in the game. Eddie, Carl Sinkler took a sickening blow very early on. How is he and how much do you feel like that affected you and your team early on in the game? Yeah, no, he's recovering. Uh, he's obviously go through all the head injury protocol. Um, look, it's part of the game, mate. You know, you have 23 guys, you lose a guy early, you've got to be able to cover it. Um, so I don't think that was a significant factor in the game. Uh, Owen, could you give us your perspective on how frustrating it was to not be able to get a toehold in the game and, and, and what you were doing to try to change it out there? Uh, yeah, first half especially. Um, probably came in feeling like we'd, we'd not really fired too much of a shot. Um, second, half, second half was a bit different. We still fe felt like we was, in, we was in the game. And second half felt like we got some momentum, but... Um, Probably not enough, and then, and then off the back of it, we got we got caught again. So uh, they got they got the momentum straight back. Eddie, Eddie, there were some suggestions that you guys were late to the stadium. What happened there, and was that a significant disruption on your preparations? Not at all, mate. And and just as as a team, how, how do you? want this team's campaign to be remembered? How do you want this team to be remembered in terms of how they looked at both? Well, the second best team in the world, mate. Um, we didn't meet our goal. We, we're not the best team in the world. Our goal was to be the best team in the world, but we're the second best team in the world. Um, so I think that's how we should be remembered. Uh, I think the guys, players prepared tremendously well for this World Cup. I thought they played with a lot of pride, passion, um, and we got caught short today. Um, these things happen, but you can't doubt the effort of the players. I thought they were extraordinary. Um, why we came short today, I'm not sure. Yeah, and sometimes you never know, mate. And, and, and it's quite a young group. Where, where do they go from here? Do you see this this team having a, another another shot at in four years? And, and and yourself, do you see yourself having another four year project in you? Well, I'll tell you, Nick. The only thing we're worried about now is having a few beers, and that's the only thing we will worry about. And then after we have a few beers today, we'll probably have a few more beers tomorrow. And then probably Monday. And then maybe we have to pull up stumps. Here, Andy. On the corner. Eddie, was there any element of last week having been so good that there was any hangover from that psychologically? Maybe that was the suggestion obviously being put to you earlier in the week. Look, that could be a factor, mate. I'm, I'm not sure. Look, I, I don't know why we didn't play well today. Um, and, and this is one of these things that happens in, in high-level rugby. Um, we thought our preparation this week was good, but in the end of the day it wasn't because we didn't play well. Um, and you can have the most investigative uh, debrief of your game and you still don't know what was wrong. It just happens sometimes. Um, it's not a good day for it to happen. You know, we're going to be kicking stones now for four years. And, that's, and it's hard to kick stones for four years. Um, so we're massively disappointed. But, um, you know, at the same time, I've got great admiration for what the players did. I can't, can't tell you how much respect I've got for them, how hard they've worked, how they've played well in this final. And we came short today. Um, but it's not because of lack of effort, mate. Owen, can you give us some insight into what you were saying to the team on the pitch at full time in the huddle? Oh, just that um, proud to be a part of it. Proud to have come as far as we've come. Uh, obviously, today didn't didn't go our way, um, but we've enjoyed we've enjoyed this tournament, and and a lot of people's put a lot of work into us. Really, really enjoying it. And um, as I said. Today's not gone our, gone our way, but 
No, that won't take away from that. Right at the back row, please. Thanks. Do you want some water? と神奈川新聞の矢部と申します。えっとエディ監督に質問があります。今日はお疲れ様でした。あのまあ悔しいと思うんですけれども、あの日本でこう指導されてきたエディさんにとってこの日本大会というものはどういう意味が意義があったでしょうか。そして最後この決勝を戦ったことというものがあのどういうこうレガシーを残していくでしょうか。教えてください。コロナウォールカップは一番の一番素晴らしいなウォールカップ。すごいあいいスタジアムお客様素晴らしいいい雰囲気作りました。So it was a great World Cup.、Um, so we feel humbled to be part of it. Yeah, we're disappointed we're not the world's best team.、Um, we finished second, and the silver medal is not as good as the gold medal, but it's a silver medal. And I'm proud of my players. I'm proud of the way they've conducted themselves in Japan. I think they've been great ambassadors for English rugby and for the sport of rugby. I think the game of rugby has grown over this tournament. You know, we now have a, another serious rugby nation. I'm sure Japan's going to push that influence into Asia. So the game's grown. They've been great competitive match, well refereed,、um, well administered, well organised. So it's been a tremendous tournament to be part of. And I think Japan should be so proud of what they've done for rugby and what they've done for their. For their own country,、um, and we're just disappointed we didn't get the money today, mate. But there's always another day. Uh, uh, Steve, could you give us your view on the scrum? And you, can you ever remember seeing an England side so dominated in a scrum?、Oh, I think, as Eddie spoke about, credit South Africa for the, what they did, especially in that first half, and gave them some ascendancy there. And we'll look at it. You know, do I have the reasons right now? No, don't.、Uh, be something to have to look at closely and think about. Okay. Yeah. Eh, Owen さんにお願いします。いいですか。えお疲れ様でした。あの当然勝つプランを持って試合に臨んだと思います。え勝つチャンスもあったと思います。南アフリカのチームについて、こう予想と違った強さを感じる部分はありましたでしょうか。また何か特別なあのインスピレーションのようなものを持って戦っているような印象、もし受けていたかどうかというようなことを聞かせてください。お願いします。We knew that we knew that South Africa were going to come in motivated. We felt that we felt that we were too, obviously. In terms, in terms of, in terms of the start of the game, they had a lot of ball in a lot of the right areas, and and seemed to, and seemed to get a, a, a good few calls,、um, and that and that put us under pressure, and we couldn't, we didn't seem to get be able to get a foothold in the game, and and they had a lot of momentum that first half. Second half was a bit different, but、um, um, they were obviously a brilliant side and played brilliantly today. So、um, credit to them. Okay, we have time for two last questions. One here, just here in front. Keep your hand up. Japan, Japan, Shueisha Matsuse. My question is to Captain, please. It was a tough match today, but did you enjoy this World Cup in Japan? Any special memories?、Um, yeah, obviously. Um, being straight after the result, it's tough. But、uh, I don't think I think I don't think that'll take away from how much、uh, the squad has has enjoyed its time here in Japan.、Uh, not just in time here, but the but the co- the whole competition as a whole.、Um, as Eddie said, it's been it's been fantastically run, and、uh, we've loved our time here. Okay, final question. Okay, that's all, folks. Thank you very much, gentlemen, and well done. Very good, though. Thank you.